Good morning, folks. We've got a look all around from California earthquake risk to weather to top science news, including galactic evolution and the breaking of quantum physics. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were once again exceptionally calm. No sunspots, no solar flares, just these coronal holes here swinging through. Right now, the solar wind from those openings is still a few days away. We haven't seen the phi angle sustain a flip back towards Earth. We are still Earth to Sun return there. Geomagnetism is quiet as well, bordering on low KP cosmic ray warnings. These coronal holes are the progenitors of our next seismic uptick watch. It kicks in when that phi angle does flip down to around 180 degrees and stays there. Solar wind from the coronal holes are still a few days away. Let's take a moment to look back at the super typhoon that raked the Philippines and then China. This comes from the rainfall measurement mission. Up next, I want to show the gorgeous earth spot Florence with penumbral whistler lines and how it literally just dumped on the same region for days. Now let's look ahead and see what's coming. We have another system from the tropics heading north to visit Europe. Two actually with one coming now and the other towards the end of the weekend. Now definitively take these with a grain of salt, long term forecasts are often wrong, but they are seeing East Pacific development relevant for Hawaii and the American coastlines in about 10 days, and the same goes for the West Pacific. Looks to be another super typhoon in the model for Japan. Let's look at the global climate update for August 2018. We have a chart with lots of blue, and then we have one with lots of white. While the most relevant temperatures and data are seen on the one adequately showing the cooler areas of Earth in blue, they are only distributing press releases about the second one, showing that the entire world was hotter than average. Now true enough, their explanation is that the percentiles chart, the white one, is a bit different and goes back longer in time than that first chart in blue. Well, if that is the case, then not only is their press release image cherry-picked based on data that tells a certain story, but if the long-term chart shows all that heat and the chart comparing to just the last 30 years shows cooler temperatures, well, that would also indicate that the global temperatures have peaked, or plateauing, or even coming back a bit. Let's go to the ground, where a team is studying the deep creep beneath California. They say about 10 kilometers down, there are patterns of small quakes between the larger ones that indicate unexpected movement at the region. They are hoping it will let them determine where along the San Andreas the next big one is going to strike. Up next, let's go large scale, where you might remember that the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy collided with our Milky Way a long time ago. And now the Gaia team is saying that the signature of that interaction helped set a strange motion to a number of the stars in the system. All these years later, the contradictory motions of the members of our galaxy tell the tale of what happened long ago. Now this. Folks, this is Nature Communications, and after two years of hot debate in the physics community, the paper is out and it's not so great for mainstream science. By changing Schrodinger's cat to multiple scientists doing research and using textbook working out of the possible realities, they conflict. Quantum physics cannot describe itself consistently, which means it's close, but not the essence of truth, just like Newtonian physics is useful on Earth, but not inside a star. One of the lead authors has taken this two-year battle with the universe and totally left academia now. This means that there is something likely far simpler and fundamental underlying the processes guiding what we observe in the universe, and perhaps it means spooky action at a distance isn't so spooky after all. Folks, if we get that cosmic ray health alert I mentioned, or any big earthquakes, or if a solar flare or geomagnetic storm comes out of nowhere, alerts will be coming through the Disaster Prediction app, one of the best ways to support the cause and the earthquake forecasting. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.